Hello students, in this video we'll construct a monotone function who is not continuous at every rational number. Let's consider an enumeration of the rational numbers r1, r2, r3 forever, okay? It's going to be a sort of a wild thing because the rational numbers are dense, and so such enumeration exists because they're countable, but the order in which this, there's not necessarily a pure ordering of this based on the index because of how dense the rationals are, right? Okay, but it's such as possible. This is possible since the rational numbers are countable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define some functions over here. Define functions u n. Define u n of x to be equal to 2 to the power negative n if x is bigger than or equal to r n and 0 if x is strictly less than r n. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum up all these functions over here. So let's sum up those functions. Then consider g of x, which is the sum, n goes from 1 to infinity, un of x. Okay. Now, by the Weierstrass m test, this is a uniformly convergent series, right? So this series converges uniformly. by the Weierstrass M test. Okay, we just recall, of course, that what that says is we know that these individual functions un, un of x, are all less than or equal to 2 to the power of negative n trivially, and we know the sum, n goes from 1 to infinity of 2 to the power of negative n, it's equal to 1, so it's definitely less than infinity, so we can exactly apply the Weierstrass M test, the conditions are satisfied, okay? Good. And so now we can also note, so that by the uniform continuity, converges uniformly, and so since each un is continuous on q complement, okay, so all of these things are continuous on the irrational numbers, or on continuous on q complement, we have that g is continuous, this implies that g is continuous on the irrational numbers. So g is continuous on the irrational numbers by the uniform convergence, okay? However, we're going to show that it's not continuous at the rational numbers, right? So how do we show that it's not continuous at the rational numbers? So for example, we can look at the, um, let's fix a rational number, let's fix, let r n be a fixed rational number, okay? And let's look at the limit as x approaches rn from the left of g of x. Well, as I approach rn from the left, I'm going to sum over all the what? I don't get to rn, capital. I get all of the rational numbers that are less than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum. This is going to be the sum over all rational numbers r. So r strictly less than rn, r and q. Good. And I'm going to have a what? of a 2 to the power negative n, 2 to the power negative n, where the n comes from these values of q, okay? Such that r corresponds to those sets, right? Whereas, if I look at the limit as I go to the right, so the limit as x approaches rn from the right of g of x, well now I actually am going to, I'm past rn, so I include that, right? So what's going to happen is this is going to be the sum, at least greater than or equal to, the sum n uh, over all values r less than or equal to r n, right? And then 2 to the power of negative n. And so what that is, is that's going to be equal to the sum r less than R, strictly less than rn to the power of negative n. Of course, r is in q over here, q over here, and r is in q over here, 
plus the what you get when you get when you plug in n capital, so that's up to the power of negative n. Now, of course, this limit over here, that limit over here is exactly the left limit, right? So this over here is the left limit. That's the left limit. So the right limit over here of the g is greater than or equal to the left limit plus something over here. So in other words, this right limit is greater than the left limit. So the limit as r approaches r n from the right of g of x is bigger than the limit as r approaches r n from the left of g of x. And that says that g is not continuous at r n. g not continuous at r n. But nonetheless, this function is, a, is clearly a monotone function. If you get past, if, if A is less than B, so just note from this that if A is less than B, then there's an R between them, right? Then A is less than R less than B, right? So I can always squeeze an R between them, which automatically implies that G of A is less than G of B. And so the jumps that occur on the rational, so the jump size, so the jump, these are all jump discontinuities because monotone functions can only have jump discontinuities. But the jump size at r n is two to the power negative n. Okay, so at r n I jump to the power negative n. So I have an increasing function. This of course is greater than or equal to zero. It starts at zero and increments all the way up to what? The sum over all the rational numbers is going to be the sum n goes from 1 to infinity to the n, so 1. So what I have over here is I have a cumulative distribution function. I have a monotone increasing function over here that jumps at every rational number on a scale of 1 over 2 to some power. And all those powers, all those jumps up to 1. So this is, in fact, a conditional distribution function from a probability density that has jumps at every single rational number. So this function is continuous on the irrational numbers, discontinuous on the rational numbers, and monotone. Thank you very much.